In this video, we're going to discuss the difference between elastic and inelastic demand. So when we talk about inelastic and elastic demand, what we're really talking about is price elasticity of demand. And I just want to give you a quick review. So price elasticity of demand is a measure of how responsive that consumers are to a change in the price of a good or service. And we calculate it with this formula, where we take the percentage change in the quantity demanded of the good or service divided by the percentage change in price. And if this formula, if we calculate that, and it gives us a number that is greater than one, one, we would say that the demand for the good is elastic and that means that customers are very responsive to a change in the price of the good or service if the price elasticity of demand is equal to one we'd say that it's unit elastic demand and unit elastic basically means if the price were to go down by one percent then the percent change in the quantity demanded would go up by one percent so one percent divided by one percent is one it's unit elastic However, if this formula gives us a number that is less than one, then we would say demand for the good is inelastic. And that means that customers aren't that sensitive to a change in the price of the good or service. So let me give you an example. Let's pretend that you run a grocery store. Okay, you run a grocery store and you're thinking about increasing the price of milk or a candy bar, either one by 10%. And you want to know what would happen under under each scenario. So let's say, for example, let, let's take milk first. So let's take milk. If you increase the uh, price of milk by 10%, then you predict that quantity demanded would decrease by 2%. And so you want to know what the elasticity is. So what we do is we take our percent change in price. That's going to go in the denominator. And then in the numerator, we have the change in quantity demanded. And remember, it doesn't matter that it's negative. You ignore whether it's negative or positive. Uh, we know that an increase in price is going to decrease quantity demanded and, and so forth. So this is going to give us 0.2 for the milk, the price elasticity of demand. And because this is less than one, this is less than one, we say that demand for milk is inelastic. It's inelastic. Okay. So that means that customers are not that price sensitive with the milk, at least with the price change we've talked about here, that if you increase the price of milk by 10%, it's not like people say, all right, that's it, I'm not drinking milk anymore, and quantity demanded decreases by 50 or 60%. That doesn't happen. It only Quantity demanded only goes down by 2%, even though you had a 10% price increase. So they're relatively insensitive to the price of milk they see it as maybe a necessity or something that is very important. However, if you were to increase the price of the candy bar by 10%, then you predict the quantity demanded would decrease by 30%. And so let's say you predict that and you say, okay, well, I wanna know what is the elasticity for this candy bar? And so we'll take the candy bar. So we'll say, here's the candy. And so in our numerator, we're gonna have a percent change in quantity demanded. And that is, let me change colors here, so that's 30% divided by the percent change in the price, which is 10%. So 30% divided by 10% is 3. And so because this number is greater than 1, we will say that the demand for the candy bar, this candy bar, is elastic. It's elastic. And so that means that when we're thinking about the candy bar as a good, we could say that if we were to do some kind of price change with this candy bar, we should expect our customers to be very responsive. So when the demand for a good is elastic, we say that the demand, the customers are very responsive to a change in the price. So if you tinker with the price, you increase, by 10%, it's not just like, oh, well, we'll have a decrease in, in the number of uh, candy bars bought by 10% or by maybe even less than 10%, like the milk, it was just, just went down by 2%. It went down by 30%. So that means that people, maybe they don't see a candy bar as as much a necessity as milk. Maybe they see it as a luxury or something like that. There could be any number of reasons. But basically, we can look and we can just calculate these price elasticity of demand for each good and so we can just look, even if you don't know what the good is, but you see the number, if you know the price elasticity of demand, you can say, okay, even if you didn't know this was milk and you're just like, what is this? I don't know. The price elasticity of demand is 0.2. You can say, okay, 
That is less than one, so that means that demand for this good is relatively inelastic. A price change isn't going to have as much effect on the quantity demanded of that good. However, if you, if you didn't know this was a candy bar and you, you saw, oh, the price elasticity demand of three or five or 10 or whatever, something higher than one, then you know, okay, demand for that good is elastic. So cons consumers are very responsive to a change in the price of that good.